Hello, my name is Kevin Carone. I am a contemporary art sculptor. I work in welded steel and make indoor and outdoor sculptures. I got started sculpting because I needed a privacy screen at my house. I just happened to bring home a piece of metal conveyor belt one day and thought, well, okay, it's the right size, it's the right shape, it's a little heavy for what I needed, but it ought to work. So I made up a little screen to cover the things we wanted to cover, and then people would come by and look at it and go, oh my God, where did you get that? So I brought home some more of it and made a fountain out of it. And that was incredible. And I actually did a couple more of those for, his, uh, for barter, and it just kind of got started from there. A lot of my ideas, um, like I said, they, they come from driving. They come from riding. It seemed like the front part of my mind was paying attention to what I was doing, but the back part of my mind just kind of wandered off. I started just taking the basic shapes that I would see. How do you take that shape apart? How do you make that shape? If I had just like a sheet of paper and I wanted to make a tree, what would I have to do? How would I have to bend it? How would I have to shape it? And that's kind of how it got started. I had a lot of, had a lot of these images already in my mind, things that I wanted to make if I ever had the chance. A lot of times, I just come down and grab a piece of steel and get started. I, I've already got it in my mind. I've already done the whole reverse engineering. I've taken it apart. I've put it back together. I know what I want it to look like. I know what I need to start. I can just come do it. When I'm getting started making a piece, like, like this one, there's always the question of, what type of material do I use? Do I use thin metal, thick metal? Do I use plate? Do I use strap? Do I use rods? I mean, you have so many different possibilities you can start with. A lot of it, for me, has to do with, is it an outdoor sculpture? Is it going to be an indoor sculpture? Is it going to be in a private yard? Is it going to be out in public? There's a big difference between working with new metal where all you have are straight pieces and you've got you know, boxes and round pieces and shapes, just your basic shapes, and working with found materials. Now that's something entirely different. When I go to like the scrap yard and I wander through there, there's all kinds of shapes. There's animals, there's people, there's, there's just amazing things lying around. You just have to put all the pieces together. You see a chain. No, it's not a chain, it's a snake. It's a tree. It's a, oh my God, there's just all the different possibilities. So yeah, sometimes you got to work with flat stuff. Yeah, you need a drawing, unless you got that picture. But with found materials, oh, totally different. A lot of fun. There was one piece that I did. It's a, a fireplace insert. Who wants a gas fireplace with fake gas logs? You know, they're, 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 they're concrete logs that are supposed to look like logs, but everybody knows they're not real. Back with it, jerk it out, make one. So I had this great uh, sheets of the leftovers from a pattern table where they had cut out all these brackets and gussets and shapes and things that they needed for the job that they were making. But this great piece was left over and all I did was just cut it up into different shapes and different pieces. Some of them I could bend, some of them I could twist, some of them I could just take them apart and add them and put them back together a different way. And I just let my mind go and just did it. And when I stepped back and looked at it, it's like, oh my God, it's Venice. You can see the canals, you can see the, the curved, you know, the, the uh, arched windows with the straight square and the sides and the bottoms and all the different heights and everything. And I put it all together and it's four layers deep and then you put fire to it. And then somebody said, well, you know Venice burned at one point. They had this huge fire in Venice. so." Venezia was born. You know, that's how that piece came about. What do I want people to feel when they look at my work? Wow. Uh, I got a sign on the wall over there. It, it says, laugh, cry, throw rocks, or throw up. Does not matter. As long as you react. When the weld comes out perfect, 
when that fit is perfect and you can take the TIG welder and you can come along and just fuse those two pieces together and you get this, this beautiful scene that you think, I'm not going to grind that. It's just too pretty. When the, when the metal just flows just the way you want, when it, it develops a life as you're working on it, and there, you know, there's no ripples, there's no bumps, there's nothing to go back and fix. It, it just, oh my God, it's like, it's like heaven all by itself. When I ride my motorcycle, it, that, that's a big part of it. it just the, the freedom of being out on the road, you know, seeing new things. My wife, she makes my heart sing. Life, you know, good music, good food. I, mean, I have a perfect job. I get to come to my studio and I get to be a mad scientist. I get to create things all day long. I get to make magic happen. I get to take just a flat piece of steel and I get to make, wow, something that people walk in and go, ooh, 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 I got to have one of those. That's good. That, that's what makes my heart sing.